How you doing today? It's uh, Royal Marriott from 123 Network and uh, today we'll be finishing up the part 9 of 9 of the cPanel tutorial. Uh, if there is something that you didn't understand in this tutorial or, or another tutorial you would like to see maybe on some web hosting or, or a tutorial just on uh, one feature in the cPanel uh, please feel free to contact me at 123network.net or reply to the video and uh, I'll get back to you and create uh, another tutorial. Uh, so to start uh, part 9 of 9 here as you know we went through all these sections in my previous video uh, and now we are at the advanced section. So uh, first here we're gonna go through like I said I'm not gonna uh, actually show you and uh, complete each one of these tasks. I'm just going to kind of briefly explain how they work and what they're for. And if you need more help, like I say, contact me. I can make a tutorial on the actual uh, program or the software or the feature that you want me to. Uh, so here we go. Apache handlers. Uh, basically uh, what this does is uh, it will allow you to control what Apache will do uh, within a certain file uh, or file types. Uh, when Apache sees a file it has to do an action built in for that file type. So uh, what will happen is uh, it'll go ahead and perform the action if you wish for uh, Apache or to perform a different action you will need to make a handler. So this is what this here is for. So uh, if you want to make, like I say, if you wanted to, to perform a different action uh, for a file type than what it's meant to do, you create a handler and, and what the handler will do is it will tell Apache to perform that action. Okay, uh, like I said, if, if you need me to go through and fully explain any of this, just go ahead and drop me a line. I'm just kind of giving a, a brief description of what everything does. Uh, next we have an image manager. Uh, in the image manager this here will allow you to view, modify uh, images in your account or on your website. Uh, as you can see here at the thumbnail you can view your image. The image scaler here you can change the size of your images on your site. And the convert images you can convert them to different file types if you have a GIF and you want it to be a .jpg you can use this here to convert them over. Uh, so that's pretty much what the image tools is used for. Pretty straightforward. Uh, next we got the index manager. Uh, pretty much the index manager allows you to customize the, uh, the way a directory will be viewed on the web. So uh, basically here it's asking you to uh, view uh, which directory and you can select a directory between a, a default style, uh, no indexes, or two types of indexing. So, uh, for example, like if you, if you do not wish for people to view your files on your website uh, or in your directory, you can choose no indexing and uh, people won't be able to view your files. So, that's pretty much what the index manager is. It allows you to customize your, your directory and the, the appearance. Um, so, uh, error pages. Um, here you can edit or create custom error pages. Uh, basically a user will get an error page and it will be a code. Uh, say if a visitor enters a broken link or a restricted page, they will get an error code. And here it allows you to, uh, as you can see the pencil comes up, uh, here it will allow you to enter this here error uh, page and edit it to your liking. So it looks the way you want it to look and shows what you want it to show pretty straightforward. Um, like I say, any problems just contact me. Uh, next we have CRON jobs. Um, basically CRON jobs allows you to automate certain commands or scripts uh, on your site. Uh, you can set the command or script to run a specific time every day, once a week or however you uh, prefer. Um, as you can see here, common sentence every five minutes, once a day, hours. I have a few uh, set up here. Uh, basically, for example, you can set a CRON job, say, to delete them 
temporary files. Uh, say temporary files, you want to delete them every week, so you're saving up your disk space, not overloading on disk space. Uh, that's what you can use CRO and jobs for to create a job and run it at a certain time on a certain day or a certain hour or however you like. Uh, now next, front page extensions. I personally don't use front page extensions, but uh, basically what it does is it allows you to publish your site from the uh, front page application. Uh, this means you won't have to uh, upload files to FTP or another method. You just uh, you use front page, the, the uh, front page application itself. Um, now, network tools. Um, basically, what network tools is is if you want to find out information on a site, uh, this here allows you to enter the domain to look it up, and it'll give you information on the domain, its name, servers, uh, IP addresses, uh, so on and so forth. Pretty much just information on the domain, as well as in network tools there. Uh, you'll see, you'll find uh, uh, you can do a trace route from the computer you're accessing the cPanel from to the server your site is on. So that's what you'll find there in the network tools. Uh, now, if you want to click down here to submit uh, a support request, that's pretty much just like submitting a ticket. Uh, you only, if you need a hand of something from your hosting company, you use that feature. Um, next we have the uh, MIME, or I guess it would be the MIME types, uh, and basically what they do is it tells the browser how to handle specific extensions. Uh, for example here, uh, the text uh, HTML, uh, the MIME type equivalates uh, or equates to uh, .htm dot html and dot shtml uh, all extensions on most servers which uh, all tell your browser to interpret all files with those extensions uh, as an html file of course um, now you can alter or add new mime types for your site if you wish uh, this is good for uh, new upcoming products that just come out, features that just come out. Um, you can use MIME types here to support them and allow them to uh, be able to access and run smoothly. So uh, that's pretty much it on the cPanel tutorial that goes over everything basic of the cPanel tutorial. If you have uh, any more questions or if you need me to do a tutorial on any one thing in here, uh, please feel free to contact, contact me or drop a line in the video. Um, or if you're looking for a tutorial on maybe setting up a website, doing some coding, or so on and so forth, like I said, just ask me and I'll get right to it. Thank you very much. Uh, you've seen a nine-part tutorial from 123 Network. Raw Merit. Have a good day.